first, my first, my first, my first Tony Robbins event. We are up early three hours before the main board open. This is intense. Day one. I am freaking blown away. Yes. Just got done with the fire walk. My name is Ishel. I live in San Antonio, Texas. I do real estate. My name is Wyatt Norris. I am currently in uh, Loosedale, Mississippi, and I am working for State Farm Insurance. My name is Gustavo Della Vecchia. I live currently in Brookline, Massachusetts, so right near Boston. I work with marketing and client success. My name is Rich Lopez. I'm in the Charlotte, North Carolina area, and currently I work for Avis Budget Rent-A-Car, and I'm a rental sales associate. I wanted to understand each of their stories individually, so I asked them, who is Tony Robbins to you? Through the years, you know, just on and off, um, guest speaker stuff or watching, you know, videos or I used to love like those motivational, you know, videos that have skits of like a lot of different people. He's just kind of, I guess, always kind of been in my peripheral. Tony Robbins has been a name in my life for probably the last six years. I heard about him in high school. And then as I went to college, you know, I would always listen to it, but never really dove into him. It was in 2020 during the pandemic. And I listened to just every YouTube video on Tony Robbins I could, you know, and that's when I fell in love with him. That was about like seven, eight years ago. I, that I first heard him, started consuming some of his content. I finished high school, finished college. And then that's when I really started getting into um, Tony's world, events, finally got coaching. Um, so now I'm here. My dad years ago had a Tony Robbins book and he read it a lot. He always like, you know, spoke good about Tony Robbins. I think it's been a, an, an accumulation of, you know, seeing him and watch little clips and videos on YouTube and TikTok and stuff like that. I also wanted to know, why are you coming to this event? So I went through a pretty stressful time for like the last year. And I think it really kind of spurred like gross. Thank goodness things calmed down. So I've been able to focus a little bit more on me. And so I just think it's a really, it's a really good time. I want to, I want to just look through a different lens at, you know, once I leave this event. I mean, nothing in my life thus far has just been something like I go, man, this changed my life. I look at life completely different now. I have a new mindset. So that's really what I'm trying to get out of this. I really want to step into that person that you know despite limiting beliefs despite these things like i know i have the control over myself and i'm not at the mercy of other people i'm not at the mercy of some system i'm not at the mercy of this programming that um that has been going on like i can reprogram and so i want to reclaim that power i go to work i come home I do my thing it's like a good good citizen or whatnot and I'm living in a very unfulfilling life. It pays the bills, it, you know, it's afforded me a lot of things and I'm very, very grateful for that. But there's always been like things I wanted to do or things I want to try and I'm always just so scared or I'm not confident or I'm not, or God knows what it is. I mean, I could come up with a million excuses. It's so much easier than actually doing something. I want to know what's really like part of me, like what part of me is holding me back the firewalk is the most anticipated part of the event. So while I was getting to know them, I had to ask, are you going to do the firewalk? It makes me nervous, but I think if I don't do it, I'll regret having not done it. Yeah, oh, 100%. I didn't, I thought, I didn't think it was a choice. Like I thought it's like part of it. It's like, you, you're gonna do the firewalk. I don't know, is it gonna like burn you? Like, you know what I mean? I'm just looking forward to doing that and just feeling like that that personal power is like that first step into into saying hey i'm i control my intentions like i i set the intention and i do it never done a firewalk i'm uh, 
I'm nervous. <laughs> I am a big guy. I don't know if the sheer weight of me bearing down on those coals is going to work out in my favor. <laughs> I don't want to end up on day two with like two boots on or something like that from the hospital. But I am, uh, I'm, uh, I'm excited. I'm, I'm ready to do whatever, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm psyched. <laughs> Early mornings and late nights will create a fully immersive environment. For the next four days, participants will spend over 50 hours in this building learning how to improve their life. Everybody, we are up early three hours before the main doors open. Today is day one of UPW. We are walking to the Palm Beach Convention Center. We are on. We're moving in. Oh my God, get yourself a high five. Just keep the side of you. Grab a seat. Because you're supposed to keep making progress. If you don't start growing again, it won't matter what you achieve. If I even you know, get to a goal, it's like to set the next one. Not for the goal, but for what it will make of you. It will make you expand. So we all gotta make progress to make that happen. But if we really, truly wanna be in a place where we're really able to have an extraordinary life, the decision you make about who you spend time with is certainly one of the most important decisions, but there's a decision even before that. And that's the decision of how you're gonna be every day of your life. And we're about four hours in. Cody's going strong a lot of music and movement, really laying the foundation for a lot of the things that are coming. I hear it's going to be definitely a long day, and it looks like we're going to be doing fire walk tonight, so I'm excited to see how all of that works. Ooh, baby. It's intense. So... This is uh, one hell of a roller coaster. Super emotional. I'm uh, really nervous and really anxious. It's been bringing a lot of things to the surface that don't, that don't always live there. <clears throat> Sorry, it's hard to talk about sometimes. They're in the closed eye portion. I didn't, uh, I didn't realize I could cry so much with my eyes closed. <laughs> you see the videos, you see all the things online, but this is. Uh, this is a very different experience, and I'm really happy that this is how it started. And that shapes a lot of how you think. But like you get to decide how to think when you understand what season you're in instead of letting the environment control you. Just out taking a break right now, and just want to record a little bit of of what's really, really landing today. For me, it was that we have an emotional home. We tend to come back to it every time that there is something that is out of our control. And I realized that one of the most powerful things that I can do when I realize that that emotional home is not serving me, once I identify that, how can I break that? What can I do to break that? And for me, it's getting up, taking a walk, going outside, putting my hands on my heart, and realizing the gift of my life, and that I don't have to be overwhelmed, that I don't have to be feeling disappointed, I don't have to be feeling not in lack. And reconnecting with that true gift, which is the gift of life, that God, I know, has given me. And so, just one day, a couple hours in, and it's been amazingly powerful. But most people don't kill themselves, they just die slowly inside because they keep playing the game of life and they're not winning. Because they set the game up in a way that's it's not winning bowl because it's not what fulfills them. And so if nothing else came this entire day, is, what if you only came out of it because you thought you might have been more fulfilled than any other time in your entire life and you continued it? 
Because there is something you can do right now today. In the next few moments, I'll explain it. There's a decision you can make. And if you make it, your life will change. It has nothing to do with me. It has to do with you. But if you're unaware of it, it controls you. It's like any other pattern. But if you become aware of this pattern, you decide to engage it. It'll change your life more than almost anything else. So it's currently quarter to 10. I'm getting ready for fire walk. One of the most uh, significant things that I'm taking away from today um, is the exercise that Tony did with us of putting ourselves into peak state and nourishing our hearts and bringing those into ourselves and then applying them to difficult situations or difficult emotions that we can change quickly. The fire walk is the ending to day one. What participants don't know is that volunteers spend two days preparing for the walk. Tony's team brings in many pallets of wood to burn down into coals. The coals are then taken by wheelbarrow to each of the 24 lanes that have been set up for participants to walk across. Before the walk, Tony instructs participants on how to cross the fire safely. He then tells everyone to remove their shoes and walk outside. Tonight we have a fire walk. You're getting yourself when you're scared to snap out of it and storm through that is a perfect metaphor for the fire of your life. Now let me show you how to walk on fire. Make your move! Make your move! Say yes! Say yes! Just got done with the fire walk. Honestly, uh, leading up to it, I was a little bit nervous. And uh, once I got up and put my feet on that grass, it was over with. I, I got into that state of mind and just went for it. Uh, it was awesome, no pain, uh, just like Tony said it would be. So fire walk, anyone that does this, it's a must. Feeling after the fire walk, just amazing. Again, just breakthrough, breakthrough. The energy, everything, speechless. By the time we actually got to the, the fire walk at about one o'clock, I think it was a little nerve wracking. I think the time waiting in line kind of cooled me off a little bit. Then all of a sudden, I guess I didn't notice how far to the front we already were. And then it was just like, okay, you're there, it's your turn. Went pretty fast, but I'm really glad that I was able to do it. That was a very, very long night, very exhilarating experience. I did the fire walk. I'm a, I'm a fire walker, so to speak. It was, um, it was intense. All the chanting and all the really support, supportive people. It was, um, it was a lot to take in for the day amongst everything else that went on. I'm excited. That was an amazing day one. I'm going to get some sleep and uh, get back at it tomorrow. After only a few hours of sleep, the doors open at 9 a.m. Tony isn't here today, but taking over the stage is Joseph McClendon III. The doors open up and you walk in with what I call the breakthrough strike. has started and the biggest thing for now is the implementation of a lot of the things that we were doing on day one. Uh, how to create unstoppable momentum. For me, this is what has been missing is I sometimes go into a, an unresourceful energy and a downward spiral and I feel like this is that starting to turn that key for me. So, so it's been good. Day two. We are on day two of Unleash the Power Within. Really feeling good today. Joseph has been just great today. I feel like now I have the tools to what I thought was gonna hold me down for the rest of my life and this fear, just every day having this. I feel like now I have the tools to get up and control it and take back control over my life, just implementing these practices in my life every day.
and they're um, there's something that you have to practice on. It's not just going to come to you. It's not a magic word. You have to do this every single day, repetition, like they talk about when they preach it. With that, you can build a lifestyle that, you know, you dream about. So day two is going great. We'll keep you updated. Thanks. Here, Joseph is teaching on how to increase productivity by creating energy in your body. Joy and excitement and love and all the things that are beneficial for your future going forward. You know what that is? It's your ass. You think I'm kidding? It's your ass. And this is the dictionary description. I made this shit up, by the way, okay? Ask the two. The positive emotions. That are, that are generated by shaking, the shaking movement of the gluteus maximus muscles. I'm finding myself really enjoying day two. We're training with Joseph McClendon, and uh, he's funny and um, keeps us entertained, gets us out of our chairs a lot, so um, I'm enjoying the work that we're doing with him. We did an exercise that I was particularly fond of because I feel like I took a, a very big idea and really broke it down. And, um, basically, what do you love? What do you hate? What are you passionate about? And then what do you do you know, with all of that information once you figure it out? And I really like that because I feel that I was able to take a really big overwhelming idea really break it down into small, smaller pieces that are more manageable and more examinable for me. Almost didn't make it through. <clears throat> it such a high from day one. Exhilarated. Finding so many different emotions inside of me that I didn't even know were there anymore. Anything from sadness to anger to happiness to anxiety, feelings just you just don't normally feel. And day two started off pretty good. Joseph was amazing. <clears throat> he really got got you feeling good. Got you moving, got you feeling different about patting yourself on the back, things like that. Had some external things happening with uh, friend of mine that came with me to the show who ended up not going through with it. He's going home tomorrow. Kind of made me feel like I was out there all alone. Got really, really bad anxiety and had to leave for a while. Met a really nice guy. He's a trainer. His name is Tim. And um, he had a lot of really nice things to say to me. Made me feel at home. Made me feel like this was for real and it wasn't just, you know, something that rarely happens or anything like that. Getting ready to go to bed. I'm going to try to get some rest for tomorrow, but tomorrow's going to be intense. I'm going to try to prepare myself for it and uh, see where this goes. A lot of the focus today was on neuroassociative conditioning. We did some very powerful visualization exercises um, that I really liked. We used it in a way to really narrow down what our, our passion is and the reasons um, why we want certain things. Tomorrow, Tony's back, um, and I know it'll be a really long day. So, getting, so I'm not, obviously it's not three in the morning, right now it's 10 p.m. So, gonna get a little bit more rest than we did last night, and gonna be ready for tomorrow. Day three, right about to start. So excited. Just want to get a little reflection from day two yesterday. One of the biggest things that I got out from it was the momentum cycle. For me, I feel like sometimes I realize I lose momentum, but all those, those four steps, getting into state, feeling your passion, the decide commit resolve for me was the was the crucial moment. So it was a lot of clarity and not only clarity, but getting it into your body. I feel that for me that was the biggest thing and the biggest uh, learning piece for me yesterday. Get it into the body. So excited for day three, transformation. Let's do this.
Day three is called Transformation Day. Tony will use a technique called the Dickens Process to help people change their limiting beliefs to empowering ones. The technique starts by identifying your limiting beliefs, then a guided meditation, and lastly by celebrating your new life now that you've decided to make a change. This is all you. I'm like the Wizard of Oz. You all come to me and some of you are looking for a brain, but you already have it. Some of you have an incredible heart, but you haven't opened it, but you've gotten hurt. And all I'm doing is getting you to come back to your true self. There's nothing I'm doing, it's all you. And if you get that, you'll realize it, but it's all you only if you do it. It's like I'm not who I am today because one day I went to a weekend program for four days and that was it, but my life has changed forever. I did that as a blast off. Mm-hmm. And it became a lifestyle. Just like working out. You work out for one week in intense year, you have massive momentum to get pumped. But if you don't have a daily practice, it's not gonna work. I just finished the first half of day three and I'm speechless. I'm freaking blown away. My voice is about gone and I, I feel free. I honestly feel free today. It's been it's been a hell of a day, but I understand why this is the best day of the, uh, the conference. It's awesome. It's really, really beautiful out. I don't know if it's that beautiful or if I'm just paying attention more. Um, it was a really, really intense uh, meditation, I guess, if you will. And I could see how that could change a lot of people's lives. That was one of the most remarkable ways I've ever been tried to be explained something. Immersion, really, you know. Wow. All right, we just finished the Dickens process and it was, oh my goodness, I can't even explain. The way that Tony directed us into that horrible, horrible state thinking about our limiting beliefs and thinking of everything that that limiting belief has ripped apart, has done to us, the things that we have lived, making us feel the weight of all of those things how not changing can can have in our lives and then taking it that 10 years taking that 20 30 years into the future for me just i really went there i was playing full out and honestly just being in this environment with you know so many so many people so the dickens process was absolutely magical 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 and i can't wait for pitbull tonight let's go with with tony we went over exercises for uh, three of our limiting beliefs and then we use the Dickens process to uh, basically change those beliefs. But it sounds simple, but we were doing it for a while, for a few hours. And then uh, Pickle is going to come on and do uh, a show for us later this evening. So probably another late night. Pitbull is known for being at Tony Robbins' events. Pitbull attributes a lot of his success to influence from Tony's teachings, and they are now close friends. Three days at Tony Robbins, West Palm Beach, close to midnight, and we are having the time of our... The time of our... After some encouraging words, Pitbull performed a full concert and had the entire place dancing. It's, I don't know, 10 after 1 in the morning. My voice is completely shot. I just got off the phone with my wife and my kids. I was really, really happy to talk to them. It's going to be different for a while. I can feel it. I can feel like it's going to be different for a while. Everything's going to be different and it's going to be better. It's really, it's hard to, to kind of soak it all in in one shot because it's, I guess because, you know, you're, you're physically exhausted, but you're wired and you're happy and you're sad and it's, it's a spectrum of emotions, but it's, I'm really, really happy I did this. I'm proud of myself for, for getting through this. It was really hard yesterday, and today was 
Today has the potential to be one of the most transformative days of my life. And I think it's really up to me to make sure that it is. And I think I'm up to the task. It's got its, I must be. All right, day three, transformation day done, completed. I can't believe the, the amount of, of growth and transformation that has happened today. But just like really, really feeling it. I'm, I, I sobbed, I cried. I realized like those limiting beliefs, they're not, they're not things that I wanna, I wanna live my life. And I want to, which comes to one of my major lessons for this whole UPW experience so far is the power of priming and the power of not only letting this event be the thing that, that sparks it, of course it sparks it, but it's gonna be what I do when I get home. It's gonna be what I do on a consistent base, basis later on, right? immersion I feel a little sad um, about just leaving and you know going back out into the world uh, after being at an event like this but I feel very good at the same time I feel calm I feel energized I know I have some next steps to do some things to implement right away so this has been a really incredible experience I've been to things similar and I, I have something good that I take away from all of them but this one it's not just about business you know not just about money or any like one particular aspect it's kind of all, all encompassing it speaks to the soul and the heart and the mind and conscious and subconscious and everything kind of at the same time. And I'm grateful to myself for giving myself the time and making it a priority to come here. Um, I do think that there's gonna be a before and an after this event. And this is recap of day three. Uh, like I said, life, life changing. Going into this, I said, I want to leave here and generally say that this event was life changing. Day three blew that blew that thought out of the water. It was one of the craziest experiences I've ever had. Truly walking away feeling like a new person. I know that might sound cliche, but that is the truth. That's the way I feel. And I mean, I would I wouldn't take this experience back for anything. I'm glad I paid the money. I'm glad I got here and did this because day three last night was worth everything. It was great. At the end of day four, the building was once again empty. Every person that came went home to continue their lives, taking with them the tools that they had been given from Tony. This event creates a lot of momentum, but it's up to each person to use the tools that they have learned. It's up to each person to prime, make their move, and practice living in a beautiful state. Remember, that the only difference from being great and outstanding is two millimeters. And when things get tough, that life is happening for you, not to you. To Rich, Wyatt, Gustavo, and Eshel, thank you for letting me follow your journey to this event. Watching you has inspired me so much in my own life. It also has reminded me that there are thousands of other people with their own story. To anyone that has attended a Tony event or wants to, I hope this video gives you some inspiration to continue your own self-improvement journey and know that we are all in this together. To see how they're doing now, please subscribe because I'll be doing an update video in the next few weeks. Here's a sneak peek. Sounds a little crazy, you know, but I, uh, I couldn't be happier and more excited. I quit my job. Yeah. <laughs> I quit my job.